everybody and welcome to Yoga Shorts. My name is Lola and I work with the Sharon Forks Public Library, part of the Forsyth County Library System in Georgia. And I'm inviting you to take a step away from the busyness of your day, take a break, take a breath, move the body a little bit, and maybe be ready to move back into your day or maybe your day is wrapping up. I'm seated outside today, as you can tell, in a very sturdy chair, which I borrowed from the kitchen and my buddy Jesse is here with us today. So you may hear outside noises. Um, Jesse may get bored and move on to other activities. Um, but uh, I'm glad you could join me. And first I wanna mention, to take care of yourself. Um, don't do anything that hurts. Follow your doctor's advice. Always honor your own body whenever you're doing any kind of exercise. So today we'll be moving into a seated lunge pose. Um, but we're going to start by warming up a little bit with our arms, and um, but very first taking a breath and just settling into our body a little bit. So if you're seated in your chair um, with your feet about hip width apart and um, not leaning against the back of the chair, but sitting upright using the muscles um, in the core to hold up your body. If it's comfortable for you to close your eyes, go ahead and do that now. If not, just send your gaze towards the ground as we get started. So as we get settled in, just notice where your body is um, in the room that you've chosen today or the space you've chosen today. Notice your feet and how they feel against the floor or the ground or maybe a, a rug. Notice your body sitting in your chair, firm foundation. And send your attention up your spine, nice and tall seat. And allowing your shoulders to drop away from your ears, relaxing down. Check in with your jaw. If there's any tension there, let it go, let the space um, be created between your back teeth, upper and lower back teeth. And check in with your entire face, your eyes, your eye, um, your temples, that spot between your eyebrows, all the way up into your scalp. Notice if you've been unconsciously holding an expression on your face the whole time and just let that go. begin to notice your breath. Look how your breath feels today. And when you come back, back around to an inhale, inhale and as your body creates space in your lungs, also imagine creating space in your spine, space between the vertebrae. So you're sitting nice and tall, not straining, but a little bit taller with the breath, exhaling and letting that go. Inhaling and exhaling. On each exhale, see if you can relax those shoulders down a bit more. Nice big inhale. And exhale, continuing to release any tension that you might have. One more big inhale as you sit nice and tall. And exhale, letting any tension float away. Go ahead and open your eyes or let your eyes focus again if you've been gazing down. And take a moment just to check in with your body and double check your firm foundation seated on the chair, your nice tall spine. So we'll start by inhaling and allowing our hands to float up overhead. If the palms can touch, that's fine. If not, they can stay apart. And exhale, allow the arms to start floating down. And when you get to your arms being about shoulder height, flip the palms and let the palms come all over the mat. Inhale, your arms float back up. Maybe they touch, maybe they don't. Exhale, the arms float down shoulder height and then the palms float down. Inhale, the arms come up. This time if you'd like to send your gaze up, you can do that. And exhale, the arms float down. 
palms flip and hands circle around and land back in your lap. Take in a breath here in the center position. Now allow your fingertips to rest on your shoulders and begin to make little circles, drawing circles with your elbows. The arms coming forward, the elbows circling around. Then you synchronize your breath with the movement, inhaling and exhaling, whichever feels right to you as far as inhaling maybe back and exhaling as they come forward. And slow that down and start to circle around the other way. So the elbows are drawing circles backwards and inhaling and exhaling with your movement. And slow that down, let the hands come back to rest in your lap. We're going to turn to the right hand side, towards the right side of our chair, and allow the right leg to, the back of the knee is pretty much um, hooking over the side of the chair, and the shin is perpendicular to the ground. Then allow the front or the left hip to pretty much hang off the chair. And this is why it's important to make sure you have a sturdy chair. You don't want a tippy chair at this point. So my toes are actually tucked under. So we're going to face that front leg, that side of the chair, as we inhale and send our arms up and exhale down. So make any small adjustments that you'd like to make to make it a little more comfortable maybe. And also option to look up towards your hands. Go ahead and inhale up and exhale down. Then again, inhale up and exhale down. And this time as we inhale up, we're going to let the arms stay overhead as we take another breath. Inhale and exhale. And then on the next exhale, start to walk your front foot back forward, seated towards the center again, and take a breath here in the center position. And then go ahead and let the left leg come around. So the left leg is going to be on the center of the left side of the chair. The knee is kind of hooked right there, firmly on the chair. The shin is perpendicular to the ground. And we'll adjust our hips so that the front leg can come down and my toes are tucked under. Okay. Get yourself comfortable on your chair. Make sure you've got a solid foundation again. And inhale, send the arms up. And exhale, let the arms come back down. Inhale, the arms come up overhead. Exhale, the arms come back down. Inhale, the arms up. This time, exhale, allow the arms to stay overhead. Inhale up, and again, you can look towards your hands if you like. Exhale, let the arms come back down. And begin to walk back towards front of the chair with your feet and allow your feet to rest flat on the floor again. Let's take one nice big inhale in the center position. Let our hands come up overhead again. Touch if you like. And exhale. They come all the way back around to your lap and rest here. So that's an opportunity to practice a lunge using your chair. And if you try this at home, what you might also experiment with over time and always go cautiously as you're turning sideways on the chair, the leg can drop straight down. Or if you'd like, you can send the leg back a little further. Let's give it a try. You don't want to feel any tension in the front, front leg or any pain at all. But you can give it a try on each side. First starting with your leg just dropping down from your hip. It may not even drop straight down from your hip. But that's fine. And just give this um, chair lunge a try. And eventually you might want to send your leg back. Or maybe not. Whatever works for you. We'll make it your own. So thanks for joining me today. I'm really glad that you were here and I hope it's given you an opportunity to step away from the busyness of the day, from whatever has had you busy, be it um, working from home or, or having family or, or just needing a break from busyness. So take care of yourself. I hope that all is well with you and your family and in your community and I look forward to seeing you next time.